This is our cabbage plot. We planted our cabbage from seed last spring. It is an old Irish variety called Gorta Hawk. Since October we've been harvesting cabbage. It is January now and the cabbage kept well despite frost and rain. The outer leaves start to turn brown but further in the cabbage is still perfect. And today we are going to make sauerkraut. Fine big cabbage. Fine big cabbage. In Ireland, people don't really eat much sauerkraut. Where I grew up, we had it for breakfast, lunch and dinner. So literally all the time. And I quite miss it sometimes. I have a special cabbage grater, which my mum gave to me. And I can shred the cabbage with ease. The cabbage head is not very tight, so I have to keep pushing it together while I grate. It is very sharp. Now I weigh the cabbage because I want to add the right quantity of salt, 1 to 100 for sauerkraut. So for these 1.5 kilos I need 15 grams salt, approximately 1 tablespoon. I also add a capsule of lactic acid bacteria. I could also use buttermilk, which would work just as well to start the fermentation process. Then I start massaging the cabbage with my hands and soon there's liquid running off the cabbage, which is good. When it looks like this, I stop and fill the cabbage into preserving jars. I make sure to divide the liquid evenly between jars. Then I crush the cabbage further with a rolling pin. Because we don't eat that much sauerkraut, we make it in small jars rather than one of those big sauerkraut earthen pots. It's more practical. I put a clean cabbage leaf on top and push everything down once more. It is important that the cabbage is completely covered with liquid, as the fermentation process is anaerobic and would be disturbed if air could reach the cabbage. The jars remain at room temperature for two days, then we move them into a cool room for two weeks. Then we have a first look. Some people wait for six weeks, but we find that often the kraut is sour enough after two weeks. Oh dear, this one looks like it's not gone according to plan. It looks a bit rotten and it smells very foul. Sometimes this can happen and we just throw it out. This jar looks and smells good. You can see how the kraut rose during fermentation and the liquid is at the bottom. Some people try to avoid this by putting a weight like a stone on top of the kraut. Okay, so how does it taste? Mm, well, let's try. Okay. Mm. Sour. Sour and crunchy. Sour and crunchy. Mm -hmm. Is it alright? It's very nice. And not one leaf was wasted in the process.